सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम ऑन यूनिडायरेक्शनल हीट फ्लो विथ इंटरनल हीट जनरेशन इन इन्सुलेटेड प्लेट फर्स्ट वी विल रीड व्हाट इज द गिवन क्वेश्चन ए प्लेट हैविंग थिकनेस ऑफ 0.4 पॉइंट फोर सेंटीमीटर हैज एन इंटरनल हीट जनरेशन ऑफ 200 हंड्रेड मेगा वैट पर मीटर क्यू एंड ए थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव वैट पर मीटर केलविन वन साइड ऑफ प्लेट इज इन्सुलेटेड एंड द अदर साइड इज मेन्टेन ऑफ हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस कैलक्युलेट मैक्सिम टेम्परेचर इन द प्लेट वॉट इज द टेम्परेचर एट द सेंटर ऑफ प्लेट we will first draw the diagram as per given data now thickness l is given 0.4 cm but the standard unit is meter which is equal to 0.004 meter so we have to draw here one plate which is having one side insulated and length or thickness is equal to 0.4 cm then heat generated is also given that is 200 megawatt per meter cube but standard unit is watt per meter cube so we will write 200 into 10 raised to 6 watt per meter cube now the temperature on other side of the plate is given and that is 100 degree celsius so we will use here tw which is equal to 100 degree celsius and thermal conductivity k is equal to 25 watt per meter kelvin now if we observe the condition the plate is insulated at one side but with internal heat generation so whenever there is internal heat generation we have to use the poisson's equation so what is this poisson's equation that is d square t by dx square plus qg by k is equal to 0 now from this poisson's equation we will find out what is the temperature distribution equation and when we find out the temperature distribution equation we can easily find out the maximum temperature as well as temperature at the center of the plate so what is the first step for this poisson's equation integrating with respect to x so when we integrate with respect to x it is dt by dx now this qg by k i will transfer to the right hand side which is equal to minus qg by kx plus c1 where c1 is the constant of integration now second step is that again integrating with respect to x now here when we integrate with respect to x then t is equal to because here dt by dx it will become t which is equal to now here minus qg by kx so integration of this term will become minus qg by kx square by 2 plus c1x plus again we will take second constant of integration that is c2 so for this equation we will give here the equation number 1 now we will apply the boundary condition so if we observe here the total thickness is 0.4 cm and suppose we will refer the heat will flow in the direction of x then here x is equal to 0 and here at this end x is equal to l so what is the boundary condition that is first is x is equal to 0 so at when we put x is equal to 0 then dt by dx is also equal to 0 so uh, i can give here this is the equation number 1 and this is the equation number 2 so this dt by dx so first boundary condition we will put in equation number 1 so x is equal to 0 then dt by dx is also equal to 0 then c1 value that is c1 is equal to 0 so we will get the value of c1 now we will move for the next boundary condition at x is equal to l so when x is equal to l then temperature t is equal to tw because tw is equal to 100 degree celsius and we have to consider this previous value c1 is equal to 0 now this values for the second boundary condition we will put in equation number 2 so here t will become tw which is equal to minus qg by k x square so instead of x we will put here l square by 2 plus now c1 x but c1 is 0 so this whole term will become 0 plus c2 now if we observe here here c2 is the constant of integration that is unknown but tw is known so i will put here the value that is 100 is equal to minus qg by k so minus qg by k that is minus 200 into 10 raised to 6 divided by k that is 25 
into L square by 2 that is L is 0 0.004 divided by 2 plus C2. So when we solve this we will get the value of C2. So we can transfer this whole term to the left hand side. So this minus will become plus. So 100 plus this whole term. Then value of C2 is 164. Now we will put the values of C1 and C2 in equation number 2. Because this is the equation for T. So T is equal to minus QG by K x squared by 2. And C1 is equal to 0 plus C2 is 164. So here plus 164. So this is the temperature distribution equation for this given question. Now we have two questions. First question is that we have to find out the maximum temperature. So we will find out the maximum temperature from this temperature distribution equation. So what is the condition for maximum temperature? So when T is equal to T max then we have to show dt by dx is equal to 0. And when dt by dx is equal to 0, x is 0. Because in the equation of dt by dx we have seen that. That is when dt by dx is equal to 0. At x is equal to 0, here dt by dx will become 0. So when we put these values, that is x is equal to 0 in this equation, then we will get here instead of t, t max. So we will put all the values. So here x is equal to 0. So this whole term will become 0. Therefore, T max is equal to 164 degrees Celsius. So this is the answer of first question. That is the maximum temperature. Now we have to find out the temperature at the center. So here thickness is 0 0.4 cm. So at center that means from this initial phase the distance x is equal to 0 0.2 cm. So we have to consider because heat will flow in, the, in this right direction that is towards right hand side so at this point x is equal to 0 0.2 centimeter so this 0 0.2 centimeter we have to convert it into meter that is 0 0.002 meter now for this t center we will put all the values so what is the value of qg that is 200 into 10 raised to 6 it is having minus sign multiplied by x square that is 0 0.002 bracket square divided by k into 2 that is 2 into 25 plus 164 so when we solve this we will get the answer that is t center is equal to 148 degree celsius now we will show these two temperatures that is the temperature max the maximum temperature 164 and the t center 148 degree celsius now if we observe this Maximum temperature is at x is equal to 0. Therefore, at x is equal to 0, we have to show the temperature 164. So, here is 100. So, here is the range of 100. So, we have to show here 164 degree Celsius. Then, temperature at the center is 148 degree Celsius. So, this is the center line. So, we have to show in between 100 and 164. Here 148 degree Celsius. So when we join this we will get the curve in this direction.